It's Good Day New Mexico with Casey Messer. Plus, it's National Fire Prevention Week. This man's life changed forever when he was trapped in a fire. His tips on how to escape if you're ever caught in his situation. October 6th through the 12th is National Fire Prevention Week. Joining me now with really helpful and useful tips that can save your life if you're ever in a fire is Fantastic Frank. Good morning, Frank. Thank you. Now, I am Fantastic Frank, the world's first and only differently able motivational speaker and author of the book, From Flawed to Fantastic, How I Turned My Disability into an Asset. Now, 33 years ago, I was trapped in a fire, carried out in a body bag, and now I'm here to inspire millions. I've got to get I want to get right to my four-step principle, and that is four things that you must never do if you want to survive a house fire. The first thing is that the doors, you never open a hot door, because a hot door, that means there is flames on the other side, and that's the last thing that you want to do. The second thing is that you never have only one exit. You should have two exits because one could be down the hallway, it could be far away, you could die from there. The third thing is that this doll is supposed to cool, but I don't know how to make it cool. Because the gases are heavier than air, you should never put your nose, your nose should never go down to, to the Floor. It should be three or four or five inches up. Then the last thing is you must never underestimate the power of, of carbon monoxide poison because one out of five people, one out of three people die and they never wake up when they are in bed. Okay, Frank, so what are four things that you must never do in order to survive a fire? Fire. First, F stands for fast. Within 30 seconds, you have to get out fast because within 30 seconds, a fire could go from a little flame into a roaring fire. That's, that's one of the facts that demonstrate this on TV all the time. I stands for iPhone. iPhone means that you have to dial 911 right away. R stands for reunite. That means that you must have a place to go where your family, if you live, but if you live alone, you don't have to worry about that. But you have to know, if, if you have family, you have kids, you have a wife, or a child or something like that, you have to know where to go, so you have to plan this out. And the last E stands for Edith. Exit drills in your home and Dan. Dr drills at night, and there is a second E too I want to talk about. This is the equipment. Your equipment must be of the top caliber, and the best place to get that is from a company called Eagle Distributing Company. It's in Victor, New York, and the reason I tell you about that is that this guy had a fire in his, it burned his business in the ground, and he didn't have the right fire equipment, and so he went into business, and because what, if you buy a $20 or $10 smoke detector for your house, don't think that's going to save you. You could be dead because of the fact if you put the smoke detector up high, it's going to be the carbon monoxide gas is a lower, it's a heavier than air and it sinks to the ground. So by the time your smoke detector goes off, you could be dead. So don't be skipping on your fire equipment. Buy the best that you can get. Go to my website, www.turndisabilitytoability.com. Fantastic, Frank. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.